Next weekend, the Concha Del Mar hosts Dunk Fest. Work with the community to rock the rims and earn prizes. Meanwhile, the city celebrates the 2022 NBA playoffs with a new event. Represent your favorite NBA team and you'll earn double XP. That's it for me. Level 40 is calling your name, so get out there and enjoy Zero Gravity. That's the United States Supreme Court building here in our nation. In Thank you, Kevin. Well, D.A., clearly he wants to make his mark. Thanks for that report. Here's the starting group for the Indiana Pacers. We've got Halliburton. Miles Turner out there with Taylor. Then there's Malcolm Brogdon. And it's Warren in at the small forward. And for Washington. And Pacers have added to their game. No doubt. The, the work doesn't end when the season does. And if you're trying to improve your skills or if you're trying to pack on good weight, what kind of stuff needs to get done during the offseason? Here's what Washington's going with right now. Daniel Gafford's checked in for Przingis. Thomas Bryant comes in for Kyle Kuzma. Hachimura, he's checked in for Avdia. And it's Contavious Caldwell-Pope in for Raul Neto. Caldwell-Pope trying to break free. And he's starting to show that killer instinct this quarter, looking to extend the lead. Pass to Warren. Doesn't go for him. Nice D from Bryant. They've been sensational on the backboard to start this game. Yeah, sensational is a really good word for it. They're tearing it up on the glass. Warren with the ball. Picked up by Bryant. Hachimura with it. He's got seven. Passes to Bryant. Gafford trying to break free, and he's able to get it back. And a wide open look for Hachimura. And the three off target. Pacers trail by 10. Two seconds separating the shot clock and game. Indiana moving the ball over. Beal with the steal. Down low. And a strong finish with two hands. Strong ball displaying intensity right off the opening tip, especially on the offensive end. I'll tell you what, forget about easing into the game. They came out with guns blazing. Not going to go that time. And so it's the Washington Wizards enjoying a 12-point lead as they talk things over during the... some great players at the small forward position. I'm looking forward to it, uh, like I say. All the well, we know Greg had a breakthrough for his sixth season, but Warren missed almost all of year seven to injure. Yeah, and, and he's confident he can come back strong. Yeah, remember, this is a guy who scored 53 points in the pass. game, so First his talent ball. level, obvious. Shooting for Indiana. And B. And Two glad seven. to have you with us, folks. Second quarter of basketball. This game has not exactly been neck and neck, but plenty of time left in this. Oh! oh. And the instincts there from Hachimura. Notice the overcommitment by the defense and then makes the right pass. Awesome display of athleticism captured by your AT&T 5G slam cam. Heal the pass to MP. Here's Jackson to the middle. Here's MP. And it's Bradley Beal with the rebound. And physically, there's no doubt they've been the stronger team. A plus 10 rebound advantage tells you all you need to know. Pacers trail by 14. MP passes to Warren. Healed outside. MP outside. Inside. Here's Jackson. And the rejection by Gafford. Caldwell Pope against Teal. The kick out to Bryant. It's hauled in by Warren. Nothing seems to be going down for him today. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, the, the, their offense has ground to a standstill. MP passes to Orte. Shot clock at five. That's a two from Heel. Offensive rebound. Very surprising that he came away empty there, especially given room to operate. Hachimura, no good. 
Well, you know, this is what happens. You can't afford to lose concentration, even for a nanosecond. Heel attack. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle. And two shots coming up. That one on Caldwell Clover. And playing for you. Substitution for the Pacers. Here's Neto. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring yet from him. Porzingis looking it over. In the second quarter. Two minutes. Now, here's Avdia. Turner covering. Neto, that's a two-pointer. And that one off the back of the rim and in. 146 left to play here in the half. He gets a chance now to catch up with the fourth member of our crew, Hall of Famer David Aldrin. Thank you, Kevin. Christoph Porzingis is returning to form after his knee surgery. He says, making sure it's strong and stable is nonstop work. I'm feeling better, and I have confidence that I can go out there and play freely. His offense has been great. It's the defensive end that he's still getting right. Guys? Well, we know he can be a presence, D.A., and I think eventually he's going to be what he wants to be. Thank you. Back to Brogdon. Outside, Taylor. Dishes it to MP. Just three to shoot. Indiana needs to get a shot off. Four on three break. Beal gets a wide open look. His three pointers off the mark. And one thing I liked in the first quarter was their aggressiveness to draw the contact, putting the defense on the defensive. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And I think they need to continue to press that advantage. They've got to get back to that. Don't go away from that. It's been working so well for them. Stay with them. Defense doesn't get much better than the mobile one block we just saw on replay. Sharp instincts on D there. Just timing. When to rise up and swat that one away. Beal can't get it to go. Pacers trail by 11. Outside Warren. Here's Brogdon. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. You know, remember now, Malcolm Brogdon was a second-round pick before he can mix it up down low, and he's really a good all-around player. Brogdon hits them both. And they're getting to the line a lot in this quarter, guys, and it hasn't been by accident. Yeah, I don't think it's an accident that aggressiveness correlates with playing better. So the aggressiveness is starting to pay off. And there's that creativity from Beal. When he's in flight, boy, he's going to show you something special. The shot by Turner, no good. Here's Neto. Here's Kuzma, and that's going to do it. Some good defense down the stretch, to, and so it's the Washington Wizards holding up. And with the second half upon us, we'll find out if this game becomes the route that... Pacers He's checked in for Raul Neto. And uh, Indiana shooting a pretty low, 34% thus far. Kyle Kuzma is out there with Rui Hachimura. And there's Bradley Beal. And there's Porzingis. And it's Abdiya in a two-go. That's the group on the floor right now for Washington. Washington's gone to the three-point shot eight times already in the second half and hit four of them. Now, here's Avdia. Defense is right there. Can't cash in on the 10-foot jumper. The Pacers shooting a pretty brutal 29% since the break. Marte passes to MP. To the paint. Stolen by Avdia. Here's Beal. Banked in off the glass. Beal's got 41. And now we'll get a perspective here on the hustle game. How it's been going for the Wizards. Their high-energy defensive effort has paid off for them, guys, with more than a few steals over the course of the ballgame. And, and also, how about the points they've gotten in transition or on the fast break tonight? That's been a huge factor as well. MP, no good. And so it's Hachimura who brings up the ball for Washington. 
Right on the bucket. Beal's got 43 points. And it's clear how confident Beal is. The closer he gets, the more his eyes light up trying to score. Now, here's MP. He's guarded closely. Here's Tuarte. From outside, off the mark. The Wizard shooting has been great, up over 50%. In fact, 52%. Pull up Jay. The rebound by Turner. Turner's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Pass to Duarte. Back to MP. Takes a three. Kuzma pulls it in. Now here is Hachimura. Nine points in the game so far. Here's Beal. There's the pass to McConnell. One second left. Got a hand on it. And at the end of the third quarter, a huge lead in this one may already have been decided. It's the Wizard. And a chance right now to show you our State Farm assist of the game. And I'm glad this was the pick because I love this pass. Such a great dish. That's what I call court vision. Yeah, and with the accuracy to go along with that vision. I mean, he put the ball in the absolute perfect spot. That's how you orchestrate it. And there may not be a lot of drama down the stretch as we head into the fourth quarter, but stranger things have happened. Our fourth quarter action underway presented by Gatorade. All fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset the lineups. On the court right now for the Pacers. And Stevenson is out there with Taylor. Then it's Turner. Then it's MP. And it's McConnell in at the point guard. Caldwell Pope against McConnell. Back to MP. Just four to shoot. And it's Watch Contavious Caldwell Pope with the foul. That's his third foul of the game. That's his third And the NBA foul. dress code in the back in 2005. Foul. Now, player attire straying a bit from business casual. Uh, does that bother you, Greg? Uh, you know, it doesn't bother me because that's where we are as a society. But man, I can tell you, when I first came in the league, you get fined if you didn't wear dress socks with your suit. So we have come a long way in Wizards terms of the foul. evolution of fashion. And you know what? I'm well, not well, one for stopping progress. Or the foul. perfect blend of style Second and substance. Foul. MP entertains fans and dominates opponents. MP. That free throw, no Two good. Shots. No good at the stripe this time. The second misses also. Caldwell Pope with a wide open look. Off target from three-point range. And the Pacers shooting just 33%, struggling to get good looks. Stevenson outside. To the inside. Turner shooting Wizards foul down. as the whistle blows. Oh, He'll shoot two free throws. That's his first personal foul. One on Kispert. Third and Turner's length causes defenses all kinds of problems. Indiana. I mean, he really Miles. uses that length extremely well to draw fouls. It really was a bitter end to the 2018 playoffs for Miles Turner. Fouled out in the first round game seven loss against LeBron and the Cavs. Unhappy with how things ended, Turner turned to a new passion. Caldwell Pope outside. And he lays it straight in. Another bucket down low. They've been the aggressors taking the ball inside and attacking at the rim. You're exactly right. It's been all good at one end. And let's be diplomatic and just say not so good at the other end. Taylor dishes to MP. McConnell passes to MP. Feeds to Turner. Fires it up. It's tipped. Down low. Here's Smith. A shot. No good. And Indiana will come the other way. For Turner Clark, that passion you were just talking about turned out to be a healthy one. Yoga. Kevin, how about this? Can you imagine going Lance into a yoga Stevenson. class and seeing a 6'11 NBA player striking poses? But becoming a yogi has worked out for him. It's paid dividends. Since that 2018 offseason, Turner's really raised the level of his game. 
back to Porzingis. And the dunk by Porzingis. That's how you pass the pumpkin. I mean, Smith really keeps his head on the swivel to get that ball over to his open teammates. McConnell against Smith. McConnell passes to Stevenson. Outside Turner. MP kicks to Stevenson. Fires for three. Rebound by the Wizards. A look at the clock. A little under three and a half minutes gone here in the fourth. And Caldwell Pope gets the basket. I love his shot selection today. He set the bar for the rest of the team. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. Now McConnell. To the paint. Here's MP. And that'll be Wizards two free throws down. coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Well the dynamic rank right between foul. players and officials Fourth is always interesting. There's some players saying they think there's a lot of room for improvement. What do you think? Two shots. Well, we do see players getting teed up for simply Isaiah making Jackson. their case. And, and really the guys just want to play. So, yeah, you, you love to see a little bit more harmony out on the floor and Maybe we need to get those two groups together in the offseason to break bread and try to smooth over that relationship. You know what? They're winning, though, despite the fact that he has just been really off. Turner passes to MP. The 11-footer. And the shot is long. And the shots just continue to say no in terms of falling. Smith scanning the floor. And can you always depend on him or what to lead you to the right place with that pass money Stevenson outside it's deflected they recover it MP dishes to Stevenson and Turner kicks to MP Turner passes to Stevenson that ball nice speed that time from Turner Turner's got his third assist on the night and it's Smith with the ball. He brings it up for the Wizards. They've allowed just seven points here in the fourth quarter. Out to Porzingis. And Clark, you played in a very physical era. What do you think about the way fouls are called right now? I really don't have a problem with it, Kevin. I mean, Brown some of the fouls Porzingis. that were allowed in years past, way back in the 70s and 80s, I mean, those were borderline flagrant three kind of fouls. The game was more physical, and it was accepted as such, but I don't know if that was necessarily good for the game. I think now, the way they have it set up and the way it's officiated as it relates to physicality and flagrant fouls, yeah, it may be a little bit too far the other way, but I think it's the right balance overall. MP passes to Turner. Smith against McConnell. Off target from the wing. And there have been some terrible shot choices here, Kev. That's not a good look at all. The shot by Sadoransky, no good. The Pacers have gone three of eight here in the fourth quarter. McConnell against Smith. MP kicks to McConnell. Stevenson outside. Count the bucket. And he's got a free throw coming up as well. How about the tenacity from MP against stiff defense there, drawing a good foul and getting the shot to go. TJ Warren, he's checked in for turn. For one. And that one misses. For Washington, they've gone through the fourth quarter shooting 50%, 7 of 14. Pass to Porzingis, an emphatic L.U. jam. Well, what an athlete this Porzingis kid is. I tell you, you put the rock anywhere near him, and he's going to throw it down. McConnell passes to Warren. He's looking for MP and finds him. The Wizards have got a pretty good rhythm going offensively, shooting 8 of 15 for the quarter. Out to the right wing. Warren against Sadoransky. Pass to Carey. Now here's Porzingis. 
in for another field goal. A sublime 9 of 14 on the night. And they are attacking the rim and getting great results. And how? I mean, they're taking this defense to task, taking them to school. Every one of their last 10 points have come in the paint. Here's Warren, and it's blocked, and he keeps control of the ball. Porzingis against Warren. Bounce pass, Porzingis. Sadaransky against Jackson. And the foul MP. called on MP. That's his second foul. That'll be his foul. second foul of the game. First team foul. Yeah, clearly a foul of frustration right there. Not his best moment. Obviously, no one on their team's happy right now, but shouldn't be taking that frustration out on your opponent with a poor foul. Here's Smith. Boy, this is um, bad. Tough to watch. I mean, this is really bad. He's stone cold this quarter. Man. Jackson passes to MP. Warren trying to break loose. MP, no good. Washington has gone 0-3 so far in the fourth quarter from long range. Kispert, no good. Indiana's gone 1-2 from three-point range here in the fourth. Here's Stevenson. Kicks it to Warren. To the middle, here's MP. And another shot. Jackson misses. They are in complete control. This is the ultimate definition of the zone. Everything they've done has worked. How many times have we seen a possession like that from them today? Ending with a basket, coming off a pretty pass. Well, when you look at the assist totals, heck, they've been clearly the better team. McConnell against Sadaransky. And he drives in. It's rebounded by Stevenson. And uh, Indiana shooting in this fourth quarter. Pretty dire at 27%. Over Perzingis. And that one's good by and Stevenson. Stevenson. Stevenson's got seven now in this quarter. You know, so far he's been dominant this period, making the most of his opportunities. Sadaransky the pass to Perzingis. Back to Sadaransky. Count it. Good. Sadaransky's got his first two points. And of the last six baskets, five have come on the interior. This is just smash mouth physical basketball, guys. Warren dishes to MP. And here's McConnell. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. And we see teams around the league trying to integrate star veterans with talented rookies. Greg, it's not always easy, is it? Not at all, Kevin. And a lot of times it becomes a choice between win now or win later. Though the teams with great coaching and development can oftentimes do both. Hatchie Murray checked in for Przingis. Stolen by Jackson. Stevenson outside. A minute 50 left in the game. And Greg, you faced some exceptional point guards during your time in the league. But who was the toughest matchup for you when you play? Oh, man. You know, John Stockton was always one of the most difficult. But in a weird way, not because I worried about him scoring on me. It was because I had to defend his ability to make people better. And, and that was always a challenge. Don't forget about the great Penny Hardaway. I mean, at 6'8", that, that was a nightmare to deal with. And my personal all-time favorite, Isaiah Thomas, who was as good as anybody's ever been at that lead guard position. Yes, and, and with this one winding down, it's obvious to everyone who watched it, just a total mismatch and a true show of strength for the Wizards. This was a team performing to its uh, fullest capability. Uh, a, a hugely satisfying win. A, a, a game that not many will soon forget. And on the other side, one that I think most will try to forget. And it'll go down as their first official win of the new year. And they'll take the win tonight, setting the tone in the first matchup of this four-game season series. And it will be a fight. When you see an opponent that many times, it's inevitable that those games take on a little extra added meaning for the players. A fantastic show. And, and what an amazing all-around game it was for Bradley Beal. 
Every time he shot it, it seemed like it was going to drop in. And if it didn't, everyone was surprised. Six to shoot. Warren, the pass to MP. Sadoransky with it. And so it's Washington. Easily grabbing this one. They poured it out in a dominant showing in front of a crowd that loved every minute of it. And you know, this game could really be a defining one for what they can do when they are playing at their best. I mean, being here at home no doubt helps, and the execution was flawless. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. For Greg Anthony, Clark Kellogg, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for watching this presentation. Uh, one thing about that calm and she coming back, if you keep close. Nowadays, when came a tree and a snake, your homies out because everybody back. Everybody black though. I let the catch up. Used to off the numb. Hope I didn't purchase.